हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सियोमेटिकॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आईआईटी आई जैम टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन सो वी आर हेयर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम एट ऑफ योर पेपर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज अ इज अ लीनियर एल्जेब्रा प्रॉब्लम सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ सब स्पेस ऑफ द वैक्टर स्पेस आर क्यूब सो यू हैव अ वैक्टर स्पेस आर क्यूब and you have to find out the subspace right so you have four options and among these four option one is a subspace that you have to find out so firstly what i will do i will just define subspace that means the conditions i will define which will be needed for a space to be a subspace right so suppose w is a subset of a vector space v over the field f okay so it's just a subset now now if it satisfies these two conditions okay if it satisfies these two conditions then we call that w subset as a subspace so first is that zero vector must belongs to f uh, w zero vector must belongs to w what is zero here zero is the additive identity inside your vector space okay now second one is that if you choose alpha from field and u and v two vectors from w then what should happen alpha u plus v should belongs to w okay we can also write beta but uh, this is also a condition for the for a space to be a subspace okay so c now c uh this condition number 1 is sometimes very important and most easy to check are you getting my point so we will check this in your option d first so in your option d it says that all those element will inside this d sub this sub space this subset i will say all those element will inside this subset which satisfies these two conditions right now if you if you will choose zero zero inside your vector space what is zero inside your vector space what is vector space it's r cube right so what's the zero element this is the zero element right so firstly check whether this zero element belongs to this subspace d or not are you getting my point so see the condition is x minus 1 should be zero what is your x your x is this so do you think that zero minus 1 is zero no it's not possible that means this zero element does not belongs to i will write wd okay wd represent the sub subset given in the d d option okay so therefore it's not a subspace since it does not satisfies condition 1 right now let us come to your b option b option says 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 3 must be zero and z should be zero right this is what they are saying now again check your zero element so if you place in place of x you place zero in place of y you place zero and in place of z you will place zero then you will get minus 3 is equal to zero so do you think that minus 3 is equal to zero no it's not therefore this uh, zero element of vector space does not enter your subset wc that means it will not be a vector space now let us check your c option your c option suggest us that every element which which will which have x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 will enter your uh, subspace okay it is it's b okay i wrote it incorrectly it's b okay so uh what it says that uh element will enter inside this if x is greater than 0 greater than equal to 0 and y is greater than equal to 0 okay so let me choose a element so let us say we we choose a element like this that 1 1 1 okay and uh, second element i am choosing is 0 0 0 right so this is v now this is u for me okay and alpha i am choosing to be 1 i am choosing this alpha from my field what is since field is not given that means you have to choose the obvious field that is r r is your field in this case okay 
so this is my u now see this this thing belongs to w or not w c yes this thing belongs to w because it satisfies the condition x is greater than equal to 0 uh, and y is greater than equal to 0 are you getting my point so these two elements belongs to w c so this condition is satisfied this condition is satisfied so now uh, okay i should write minus 1 here okay i am choosing alpha to be minus 1 now check whether alpha u plus v belongs to w or not so alpha u plus v is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 right so you got your x negative and y also negative that means it cannot enter your wc are you getting my point so therefore it's not a subspace so c is incorrect now what you have to do that means your your a option is correct right so you what you have to do you have to prove this that it's a subspace now i i i can give this a easy exercise for you it's very easy you have to just show these two conditions that zero element belongs to uh, this wa and this condition also you have to show these are the two conditions that you have to show it's very easy i'm not going to do that so it's your exercise to show that the subset inside a option is a subspace right so that means A is a correct option. So this is how we can solve a question. Okay. So thank you.